Hey, what's up guys, Too Tall Toby here, and today I'm gonna teach you three valuable time-saving techniques to use when you're working in Boss Extrude or Cut Extrude. Ow! So in this video, I'm gonna show you some cool techniques to end your extrusions, but I want you to know that this video really goes hand in hand with another video that I've created, the right mouse button end conditions video. So be sure to watch that video as well, and I think you'll see what I mean about these two videos going hand in hand. So let's get into it here with this first technique, and it's uh, one of the most common techniques that I use, and it's really just recognizing that whenever you go from a fully defined sketch into a boss extrusion, the blind end condition has a depth field which begins highlighted. And what I mean by that is if you look over on the left, you can see that the depth of this extrusion is set to 10 millimeters, but you can also see that it is highlighted. And that means that all I need to do is take my hand from my mouse and move it over to my 10 key and then type in the desired depth. In this case, it's gonna be 22 millimeters thick. I'm gonna press enter to update the preview. And then I'm gonna press enter a second time to finish that boss extrusion. And so what this means is in real time, if we started out in our sketch, I just did a control Z to undo. And we press the S key, jump into the extrude command, type in 22, enter, enter. We're ready to move on to the next phase of our design. Similarly, if I was to create a sketch here for a cut extrude, make that 40 millimeter diameter S key extrude, cut extrude, you can see here that I can now just let go of the mouse, move over to my 10 key and type in the desired depth, 11 millimeters, enter, enter. And this really creates some speedy workflows when you're working through SolidWorks. You can see here, I start out in the sketch, S key extrude, eight, enter, enter, and I'm ready to move on to the next part of the design. So just realize that whenever you jump into the extrude command, the depth of the extrude command is a highlighted field. Very helpful time saver. Now for my next shortcut, and again, one of my favorite and most commonly used shortcuts to save time, I'm gonna create a sketch that is underdefined. You guys know that I love to fully define my sketches every time, but just for the sake of time here, I'm just gonna make an underdefined sketch and then jump into the extrude command. Now you'll notice that the end condition over on the left is set to blind and the depth is set to eight millimeters, the same as my last uh, cut extrusion. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna single click on a vertex. So I'm not doing anything else. All I'm doing is taking my mouse and moving it to a vertex. When I single click, the end condition automatically changes to up to vertex and my cursor changes to look like a mouse with a right mouse button equaling a green check mark. That means that I can right mouse button to finish that command. And so in real time, we start out with our sketch, we fully define it, we S key extrude, single click a vertex, and then right mouse button to finish that command and move on to the next part of our design. This is another huge time saver in SolidWorks. And as a bonus, it is a dynamic relationship. So if this depth was to change from 80 to 120 and we rebuild, we can see that that new boss extrusion that we created also rebuilds, increases in length, and always stays right up against that vertex text that we extruded it up to. For my last feature, my last little uh, shortcut that I wanna share with you, I'm gonna do something very similar, but this time I'm going to double click on a surface rather than single clicking on a vertex. And what I mean by that is once again, I've gone into the extrude command, I'm doing a boss extrude here. Actually, let me do this as a cut extrude. So I'll jump into a cut extrude command. And once again, we can see that the end condition is set to blind. Well, instead of single clicking on a vertex, I can double click on a face. So I can double click this face here and you can see that the end condition automatically changed to up to surface. Now, once again, I can right mouse button to finish that command and I'm ready to move on with my design. This is especially helpful when you're working with geometry that is non-planar. So if I was to create a cut extrude going in this direction and I needed it to go up to surface, I could double click this surface here and create a cut extrude going up to a curved surface. Very, very useful time savers in SolidWorks. So I know this video was only a few minutes long, but believe me, if you start using these shortcuts, you are gonna get hours and hours and hours of saved time back as a return on your investment. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to share this video with other SolidWorks enthusiasts. Let me know down in the comments what you thought about these shortcuts, and of course, join me for the next Power Moves video. See you, everybody.